became, I became a journalist by total accident. One of my roommates in college was going off to join the student paper, and I happened to bump into her as she was walking out the door, and she said, come with me. And I thought, no, I'm not really interested in journalism, but she kind of insisted. And so I went along to the paper and decided, because my father had taken me to sporting events throughout my life, he assumed he would have boys and got stuck with girls. And so I joined the sports staff. And it was really a lark, but I enjoyed writing, and I enjoyed doing something that was different. And I kept working on the city paper as well as the student paper, and I developed enough experience that when it came time to get a job after grad school, journalism made the most sense. Most of my life tracking the changes in the Middle East. And I have covered the early rounds of terrorism and extremism, the first suicide bombing at an American embassy, then the Marine compound in, in Beirut. Uh, and I've watched the trajectory over the last 30 years of what's happened to extremist groups. And for the first time in 2005, 2006, I began to see the emergence of something different. People who were trying to beginning to reject violence, looking for peaceful alternatives. And so Dreams and Shadows and the subsequent book, Rock the Casbah, chronicles this turning point in the region as you've seen a young generation trying to deliver a different kind of message, use different kinds of tactics to bring about change. Uh, books like that, though, are a traumatic thing to write because you're going against conventional wisdom. Everyone else says, no, extremism is what's defining the region. And so it's a, it's a dark period when you begin to question, are your assumptions right? Have you only seen part of the picture? Have you been duped? And I did go to see the head of Hezbollah, the head of Hamas, the head of the Muslim Brotherhood, many of the radical Iranian clerics. And I had to take all of that into account. So I'm pleased with the Arab uprisings that have proven that many people in the region want the same things that we want for them, and that's more open political and economic systems. Well, it's fun for me to talk to students uh, because your generation will find the two big challenges. One is globalization, and the other is what happens in the Islamic world. And those who are interested in finding out, getting a sense of the bigger picture, um, will be better prepared in dealing with, in their professional and personal lifetimes, uh, what happens. From 11 o'clock at night till 8 o'clock in the morning. And it's a, you know, writing any book that says something than what's different than what's expected um, is really challenging. And I need a break. Uh, I thought about writing short stories. I thought about writing something else just to clear my head. We'll see.